Today we have a 54-year-old gentleman who presents with a three-month history of right lateral elbow pain. Uh, he uh, had some uh, trauma to his elbow in the form of uh, pulling on objects uh, quite vigorously about three months ago and the pain has progressively increased and he presents today with no improvement despite using uh, ibuprofen, naproxen, and elbow bracing. So first I actually thought that this was most likely going to be lateral epicondylitis. However, when we did exam, our exam, found out that the pain is really, really directly over the radial head. So go ahead and, and rotate your wrist here. I can feel the, ro the radial head rotating underneath my, my finger. Yeah, All right, that's, stop it. That's a spot. And that's it. All right, so right there, that's where the pain is at. Yeah. And so there's the radial head and no pain up around the lateral epicondyle, correct? No. No pain up in there. No. Only right there. Okay? And right there, does that hurt? It's a little depression underneath the radial head. Does, does it hurt number one or number two? More number two. Okay, so it is right over the radial head. So that's where we're going to give our injection today. And first thing I'm going to do is just mark that spot in ink and then with the retracted tip of the pen make a little indention there, double check it to make sure it's where I want it. Indeed it is. And now what we'll do is we'll clean it with alcohol and betadine. There's the alcohol. And the betadine. And it's kind of a tight area. We're going to try to go intra-articularly with it. And if I can't get it to go right exactly where we've got the mark, there's a little depression directly under that that we'll, that we'll aim for. So we're going to do uh, vapor coolant spray here today uh, using painies. So I'm going to spray it down to create some cold. All right. There we go. Now see it turn white and we now can enter. Okay. Does that hurt? Kind of yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pause a little bit right here. I'm going to go ahead and use the pinch technique in order to bring the um, skin up around the needle so we don't wind up with a subcutaneous injection. Does that hurt? Yeah, a little, yeah. A little bit? Mm -hmm. Pressure? Is it more pressure or more pain? Uh, a little bit of pressure, I guess. Okay. Well, let me see if I can get it actually to drop in the joint. Mm, this is tight. Really tight area. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in right below where we're at. There was that little depression directly underneath where our initial indicator was at. Right there. Yep, that was painful there. Okay. I actually felt it go in. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put Band-Aid on it here in just a moment. Over both areas. Now, Put your, um, now what I want you to do is rotate your wrist back and forth, kind of rotate it like this. Okay, does that hurt right now? Uh, I feel the twinge. Okay, now put your finger over the area there and, and see if you can't feel, it was right in this area right here, see if you can feel the pain. No. So the pain you had before is now gone, right? For the most part? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. 
So that means the cortisone's in the same spot that the numbing medicine's at right now. So we should get a really good result from this.